Hi everyone! Today we have a special guest. Doug Harris is the owner of Farm Ridge Pottery and he will be talking a little about how to throw a pot and demonstrating two types of cups. Check out some of his beautiful and functional artwork. This is a pound and four ounces. I make bigger cups. For all the pots, it pretty much starts out the same. You want to get your pot centered, and once you do, you just kind of dive in the center in here. For beginners, it's hard, but you have to learn how to find the bottom. The floor in a pot, the thickness is important. It's too thick, it'll crack, unless you can get it really dry before you put it in the kiln. If it's too thin, it's just kind of fragile and can crack. A lot of throwing the pot is about water control. You don't want to just saturate it, turn it into mud. But you need a little water because it's got to be slick. You never really know if you got the floor right until the end. We'll cut it with a wire. So if I got it at the bottom right, you see a little ripple. It's like a little wave. And if it's too thin, you see the wire. That's real bad. A cup with no bottom in it. The difference between a square bat and a round bat is essentially price and nothing more. They make the round bats because it freaks some, a lot of people out, especially beginners, to throw on something square because it's spinning and the squares get points on it. It will mess with your eye. Uh, but once you get good, you're not even looking at the edges. You're only looking at the center point. And so I wouldn't care what shape it was. You want to make it, you know, fairly thin, so you're going to keep on stretching it out, which means you're making it bigger and bigger and bigger. Everything looks enormous at this point, but it shrinks 15% in the kiln, so... And that's why you want to weigh out your clay, is that if I didn't, uh, I wouldn't know if I pushed it in. That's why it's so large, or whether the reason it's large is because I started the more play. I have linked his website in the description. He is also a vendor at Midtown Farmers Market and at Bayleaf Market in Raleigh. Well, thanks for watching. See you next time.